Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I am so appreciative that you guys are listening and subscribing and commenting on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I just love the fact that you guys are liking the content and learning from it. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about something that a friend of mine mentioned that really struck me as so true and so poignant for me that I wanted to share with you guys. I was at a festival recently, I think I told you guys earlier, it's called JTEP and it's a very conscious, really aware, really awake festival. Everything was done really perfectly, you know, there was really very little waste, everything, there was no plastic, as much, as little plastic use as much as possible um, and there was free drinking water so people weren't buying plastic bottles. Um, and a lot of vegetarian, vegan food, and, and it was just a really great festival in, in general. If you're ever in Chiang Mai, and if you get a chance to go to this festival, I highly recommend it. They're not paying me to say this, I just really liked it. And I met an individual there, and he is really into um, learning more about himself and growing as an individual. And one of the things we were just chatting about was how um, we noticed as we go through this process of awakening of spiritual our spiritual journey we notice that the way that we deal with people the way that we uh, interact with individuals a lot of it is pretty much automatic it's not like you're actually going into a situation and thinking to yourself okay so this is the kind of person this person is this is how they are this is what they do this is what I've noticed about them so this is how I'm going to deal with them not, I mean, sometimes you might do that because you're going into a situation where it's a little bit um, tumultuous or it's a little bit arduous or you're thinking, oh, it's a little bit touchy. Maybe I need to be a little bit more careful about this person or around this person. And so you'll kind of go into it with a little bit more conscious awareness. You're going to think to yourself, how am I going to say this? What am I going to say? And all that, right? But mostly, obviously, we can't go through this system or this kind of thinking every single time. And so what we do as, as human beings is that we try to make everything as automatic as possible, which is a great thing. That's the reason we can do so much. That's the reason you can walk through this world, interact with so many different people, eat so many different kinds of food, breathe so many different kinds of air from different places without thinking much about it because a lot of this has been made automatic. Our breathing is automatic, our digestion is automatic, and a lot of our interactions with other human beings are pretty much automatic. The problem with this, obviously, as you guys can imagine, as you guys can probably predict, is that we tend to go into these automatic reactions without even thinking about it first, so that a lot of us, when we're triggered by something, we kind of go and jump into our automatic reaction without giving it any conscious thought, without thinking about what the person on the other end is thinking, what their situation might be like, what they're, you know, what they're going through in their own life, etc. I'll give you a quick example about this. Um, I get triggered really fast and really hard when someone treats someone else poorly, especially if they're in a serving position. And I notice this less and less, obviously, because the kind of people I hang out with are not the kind of people who would do that. But there are moments where I, you know, I will instantly get triggered because this person is treating their server poorly or they're being rude to them or they're intentionally putting them down or whatever might be intentionally or unintentionally instantaneously I get triggered you know instantaneously I go into that mode of hate and and basically discriminating against this person because I think to myself oh they're just an idiot they have no idea what they're doing with their life they're stupid they're probably they've never been taught properly how to treat people I would never be friends with someone like that I, I don't want to even talk to them I don't want to even look at them etc etc right I go straight into that diatribe in my head about how this person is beneath me and I did I never want to interact with them but recently the universe has been kind of teaching me in a way where I've noticed that these exact people that I discriminate against and I put down in my head, a lot of times I'll have a chance afterwards to interact with them after they have gone through that situation, after they've been mean to someone or after, after they've kind of done something that makes me judge them. After that, the universe kind of gives me a chance to interact with them. And I feel like the universe is kind of winking at me and saying, oh, look, so this is what you thought about this person? Let me give you an insight into this individual's soul or spirit or life, right? 
And so I've had the situation happen to me a couple of times where I go in and I'm actually interacting with the person because I have to or something uh, initiated something, maybe they initiated a conversation. And all of a sudden I realize that this person's going through a really tough time in their life. Perhaps their husband just died, perhaps their dog just died, you know, perhaps something really terrible happened to them where they're really dealing with a lot of shit. And I, in my ignorance, judged them. Obviously, they shouldn't be putting anyone down. They shouldn't be yelling at a server. They shouldn't be doing all this, stuff, obviously. But haven't we all had those days where we've had a really hard day and a really tough day and we just cannot deal with anyone properly? And we're putting people down and saying things that we regret just because we can't help ourselves because we're in, hurt, we're pain, in pain and we're hurting inside and we just don't know how to express it or how to get over it. And the only way we, a lot of us have been taught to get over our pain or hurt is to hurt other people, right? And so obviously all of us have been through this kind of scenario where we've had a really tough day, but obviously no one else around us knows that. No one knows what, we're, what someone else is going through. And a lot of us don't share this kind of stuff either. We're, we're afraid of being vulnerable. We're afraid of showing our weakness. We're afraid of just telling people that we're having a hard time. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us, we just want to pretend like everything is fine because we're afraid of people judging us or thinking we're weak or, you know, just so many different things, right? So we're afraid of being vulnerable. So people don't share this kind of stuff. And so we assume that everyone else has a, a really happy life and we're the only ones going through a tough, shitty time. Whereas everyone on the planet is going through something or the other. Just because we don't share doesn't mean that it's actually not happening, right? And so I love the universe for this and that's why I love living and being alive is because the universe is always teaching me these lessons. And so obviously from this I have garnered that everyone, 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 <laughs> everyone is going through something crazy and hard and shitty in their life or they were going through something and they've had to deal with a lot of shit or they, it's coming towards them later or whatever it might be. Everyone has their own demons to deal with. We are the, not the only ones, obviously, and we're also not the only ones that need to talk about this stuff. You know, we, we're not the only ones that need to put other people down for it, right? We're dealing with shitty times, they're dealing with shitty times. Just because we don't talk about it doesn't mean that not everyone around is going through that. Well, the main reason I wanted to do this video is because I feel like we have this tendency as individuals, as I said, to not realize that we're going into these automatic modes. When someone else treats someone poorly, instantaneously I go and I get triggered and I go into my automatic mode. But now, because I'm trying to make it more conscious, because I'm realizing that you know people are treating other people the way they are taught to treat other people. Basically, we treat other people the way our parents treated each other. You know, we kind of watch them as children. We watched our father treat our mother and our mother treat our father. And mostly a lot of our interactions, even as adults, is based on that interaction in the past, right? So if your father was really cruel to your mother, you're probably going to be very cruel to the women in your life or the other um, people in your life, even men. And if your father was really kind to her, uh, then you're probably going to be exactly the same because we can't learn from that. We can't. That's our first that's our first taste of a human to human interaction, right? How else are you going to learn? You're going to learn by copying or emulating the people around you. Obviously, a lot of us learn that the way our parents treated each other was not exactly <laughs> the ideal. And so we kind of watch other people, you know, kind of we watch maybe our teachers, um, our, the school teachers that we go to high school, university, or we might watch our friends and their parents, how they treat each other. Or we might watch other people that are in our lives, other mentors and coaches and things like that. And then we kind of follow their example and treat other people based on that. But eventually as adults, we have to kind of follow, we have to form a model of our own of how to treat other people. And that model has to be based on conscious awareness, as I said. Right? And so obviously the universe is teaching me right now that I am way really too judgmental of other people. And I'm not thinking, or I'm not taking into account that they are going through some tough times or they're going through something that I have no idea. I cannot instantaneously jump the gun and think, okay, cool. So they're a terrible human being, obviously. I mean, there's no if, ands, and buts about it. If they did this, they're a terrible human being, that's it, I'm done with them. They need to stay away from me, I'm never gonna be friends with them, right? I mean, that's the kind of instantaneous conclusion that I would draw before, but now, because the universe is like, stop doing that, boom, you're being way too judgmental, 
You have no idea what these people are going through. You have no idea what their lives are all about. And so you really have to take a step back and realize that everyone is going through something in their life. Even if it might be not as tough as your life, there is always someone that some, something that someone is dealing with that they're having a hard time with, right? And so perhaps that's what's causing them to do the unforgivable thing that you thought that they're doing, right? And so really, I know that this is something that I talk about a lot, but I always talk about giving people chances, especially being who I am. I, I know that I'm way too judgmental. I know that I'm, I, I do jump to conclusions and I'm instantaneously like, okay, that's it. That person's out. <laughs> I'm never going to be friends with them. But I'm really trying, really, really trying, guys, to be like, okay, all right, cool. This is my first impression of them. And that's it. That's my first impression. I've only had a brief glimpse into what this person's like. I have no idea really what they are like. I have had so many instances where I've you know, met someone and I'm like, mm, I don't know about this person. They seem aloof, they seem cold, they seem like the kind of person I wouldn't really get along with. Or maybe they're too snobbish, or maybe this and that. And then I kind of just brush them off and I, I kind of just say, okay, that's, that person's never gonna be my friend. And eventually a few months in, a few weeks in, or something like that, I realize that this person's awesome and I, I really wanna be friends with them. And we become good friends and they become one of my really, really good friends. And I realize if I had just given them a second chance for a second impression or a third impression or a fourth impression, then we could have gotten through those hurdles a little bit faster. I wouldn't have pushed them away so fast. And I would have had a chance to have a really good friendship with a person that I judged way too fast, right? So I hope this makes sense to you guys. I know that this is probably something that's gonna be a hard thing for us to practice in real life because our instant, our, our instant thing as a human being is to form first impressions and to stick by them, right? I mean, that's what we're taught to do in life, in school, in university. You see a person, you judge them, and you put them into a box, and then that's it. They stay in that box forever. But what I'm, what I'm trying to get myself to do, obviously, I'm not perfect at it, obviously, but I'm trying to get myself and you guys to do is to stop putting them into the box. And even if you put them into a box, remember that it's just a box that you created, right? So you can take them out of that box and put them into a different box. or not have a box at all, which is gonna be really hard, but that's something that we can work towards. So again, I hope this makes sense. If you guys have any questions at all about this topic or any other topics that I speak about, let me know in the comments below, or you can message me, all my contact information is in the description below, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.